5A semifinal showdown at West Shore Stadium. 10-1 Cedar Cliff hosting 10-1 Cocalico. The winner gets home field in the 5A district championship next weekend. The Eagles had a Cinderella run to the state semis last year. Cedar Cliff wouldn't mind taking their spot this time around. This Eagles run game, though, is something else. Outside run for Aaron Longenecker. He breaks a tackle, has the blocks on the edge, and he gets on his horse. A breakaway run for the first score of the game. 7-0, Cocalico in a blink. The Eagles defense doing their part as well, bottling up the Colts offense. Dane Bollinger getting into the backfield for the sack and going absolutely nuts after the big stop. 10-zip Eagles at the half. The Cocalico defense stepping up again to open the third. The Eagles fall on a fumbled snap, get the ball back. For the O, Bryce Nash on the recovery in that pileup. And the Eagles rarely take to the air, but when they do, they're efficient. Josh Meyer to Bollinger with a great grab along the sideline, keeps the feet in and makes the catch. Going back to see where he kicked up the rubber to complete that catch. The Eagles finish off the drive with Dane Horning. He punches it in from short yardage. 17-0 lead for Cocalico, and that Eagles defense kept taking the ball away. Bennett Seacrest going deep, tip and pick. Timothy Porter comes down with it, and the Eagles keep that ground game rolling. Josh Meyer breaks away on a big play fake. QB keeper gets it into plus territory, and that springs another scoring drive for Cocalico. Horning punching it in again from short yardage. Cocalico rolls into the 5A district championship with a 31-13 win over Cedar Cliff. Eagles will host the 5A district title.